Hello everybody, this is War Death Fun. Today I'm going to teach you something quite special. As some of you may know, there's a guy a long time ago, known as BK. He made a map of a snow map, B on his hat. And it's over 400 cells long. Now, I know that a lot of you would like to know how to make that kind of map, and today I'm going to teach you how to make that kind of map. Now first, you run Final Alert 2, Yuri's Revenge, like you always would, and make a map, like you always would. It doesn't matter what you do. Multiplayer map, create a completely new map, and then ignore the size, width and height, ignore those. And then go to theater and change it to what you want it to be. I'm going to leave it as temperate because that's what I want. Then save the map like you always would. Don't bother doing anything else for now. And then save the file name as something familiar that you'll remember it by. I'm going to put huge map. And then I'm going to save it as wire M. So I'm going to select save as type, here's a bench multiplayer map. And then I'm going to select OK. And now the map name, put whatever you want it to show as in game. I'm going to put huge map here also. I'm going to select OK, so now it's saved. X out of your final alert for now. And now go to your RE2 folder. And then look for the map. Um, uh, it should be known as the file name you named it as. Since I named it as huge map, I'm going to right click on it and select open with. So now I'm looking huge map that I am with notepad since I selected it. And then I select OK. Now since I opened it with notepad, it's going to pop up with text like this. This is the map coding. It's like um, any files really, if you think about it. Now press Ctrl and F instantly. Don't bother doing anything else. And type in size. And press enter. Um, it should pop up next to preview. Now press enter again and then you'll get one next to map. Don't change the preview but change the map one. Now, there should be 0, 0, 50, 50, unless you change the map size to something else, and that's going to be that instead. Now, change the first 50 to the size you desire. I want it to be 400. And then I'm going to change um, uh, the next one so it's really tall, also. I'm going to put down 100 there. Do not go any higher than um, uh, 500, otherwise, the game will crash. Though I heard that I can go up to 512, I'm not completely sure because I had a problem when I tried to go to 112 in the last part. So just leave it as 400, 100 tops, or balance it out so it's 500. Now make sure there is no um, uh, space and it shouldn't interfere with um, uh, theater below. Otherwise, Final Alert will not read it. I've been having that problem for a while. After you change the map size to what you desire, which I put down as 400, 100, that's already bigger than BK's map, select save. It should be saved, it's like a text file. Exit that, and then open up Final Alert 2 Years of Venge again. Now, select open map, like you always would, and then look for the map. Since I named this huge map, it's going to be named huge map, dot YRM. I'm going to select open again. It's supposed to be the same map that you just change it to notepad, otherwise it won't work. Make sure you select the same map and don't give it a confusing name that's similar to others. And then you'll get this as a result, the huge mini map. This means this map is finally this large, but there is one problem that you may not notice right away. It is the blue line. It's still the same size as the map originally was. Now this is a problem indeed, because now when you play a game, even though you're loading a ridiculously large map, you can only play in a 50 cell area, which the map originally size was. Now to change this, go up here to select these options. There should be File, Edit, Terrain, Map Tools, Online, Options, Help. Select Edit between File and Terrain and go down to Map. This should pop up, Map Properties. Now go down to Visible Area, and this is what you change. Ignore the first two, but the third and fourth you do change. Now since the map's width is 400, I'm going to put down 396. And then the last one is the height. Now since the map is 100 height, I'm going to put down 90. That way it doesn't um, uh, pass the map. I'm going to click change. Now X out and it should be done. And look at this. The blue line now stretches on the entire side of the map. In fact, my options fit it perfectly. You can go a little bigger probably, but I'm not going to try. 
But yeah, now the map is as big as I want it to be. You can simply select either save up here, you know, or you can go to file and click OK and OK. And there you go. The map is now ridiculously large. So basically, all you had to do was open up the map that you originally made and um, uh, with, as, with notepad as if it is a text file and select map size and um, uh, change the options. Now read the description if you are confused still because this is quite easy. I may have not explained it well but I'm going to make sure I did well in the description. Now enjoy your huge reducibly large maps. You can treat it as if it's any other kind of map and put down whatever you want. Whether you want tons of ore or tons of oil derricks or whatever or even just a plain map of huge ocean so it's realistic. Doesn't matter, do what you want, as if it's another map. And then exit, final right after you're done, naturally after saving, and then run it up in regular to your user bench, and it should work. Now if you have any questions, post. Um, I hope this um, video is not too long or too high in memory. And uh, talk to you all later. Have any questions if you have them.